Okay, here we go. Um, these are my top 10 tips uh, for navigating the music industry um, successfully. Uh, tip number one, it all starts and it all ends with you. Uh, a key thing to remember, um, bands break bands up. Now, there's a big grey area amongst this black and white statement. Uh, and like any business, the music industry presents a number of challenges and opportunities. Uh, and it's very easy to be put into negative situations. So it's important to understand what you can control, what you can't control, and take what you can control and make the most of it and find ways to navigate the things you can't control. Because if you just focus on the things that you can't control, it's inevitably you're going to be, be a very, very negative situation. So remember, it all starts and ends with you. You have the control to succeed in your music industry. Okay, for tip number two, uh, I want to draw your attention to something that is well spoken and well known of. Um, but isn't always implemented enough in the music industry, in my experience. And that is knowledge is power. Uh, and it's 100% necessary to harness this very clear and true statement. Now, at the end of the day, as I said before, the music industry is like any other business out there. And you need to know what you're dealing with, who you're dealing with, and how you're going to do that. You're going to do it through knowledge. So you need to ensure that you're up to speed with your current environment and the future of the music industry. You need to understand that you're going to have to continuously learn. I'm learning things every day. I make time for learning. So yes, please galvanise, harness the power of knowledge. It will serve you very well when it comes to succeeding in your music career. Okay, on to tip number three. It happens a lot. Um, I see musicians and bands, and myself included, the past, in the past, we make so many mistakes and we repeat mistakes that have happened in the past with regards to music industry and music business practices. Um, there's lots we can learn from history. Um, honestly, my top tip for this would be to go and do a case study on the Beatles, look at where they succeeded, look how they got to be as big as they were and still are, and crucially, what broke them up. There's a misconception there with Yoko that, that, that she broke them up, but that is not the truth. The truth is music business got in the way. It got in the way of the music with a relationship. Do a case study about the Beatles and any other artists that inspire you. It will help you. Okay, so tip number four. I've mentioned the word music business. Now, unless you're keeping your band and your music and your jam simply to a hobbyist level, which is fantastic, um, if you're looking to build fan bases and get your music heard by wider audiences, get featured by press and media, get gigs, etc., you're in the music business. So you need to understand the music business, who's involved with it, what's involved with it. Here is the 100% truth. You might be the most talented musician in the world, but you have, if you haven't got knowledge of music business and music industry, um, while sustaining your passion for being a musician and creative artist, it's going to be very, very challenging. The reality is, it's 80% attitude and 20% skill and talent. Now, that 20% is huge, don't get me wrong. But that 80%, if you aren't a nice person, if you aren't easy to work with, if you're negative, if you're to toxic, it's not going to help you. So learn how to galvanise understanding music industry business, who's involved, what's involved, and be the best person you possibly can whilst showcasing your talents as a creative musician. Okay, so on to the next tip. And this is a big one. All of these are big ones. This is a, this is very, very, very much a big one. Um, choose your allies very, very carefully, whether it's your bandmates, whether it's the people that you surround yourself in your business team, whether it's um, press media, whether it's anyone that's working in the music industry, find the warm people. Life is warmth and there's many, many good people in the music industry, including musicians and music industry professionals. If you're not careful though, um, there is a negative and dark side to the music industry. You might have already experienced some of this, 
But in my experience, the more you can find people that are like-minded like you, that are passionate, driven, and bring things to the table, and they look after your well-being and vice versa, then there is success to be had in the music industry. So yes, definitely pay attention to this. Be careful who you choose to have in your team. Okay, on to tip number six. I want to talk about time management. You managing your time, you managing you, you managing your mind and being more productive. We're living in an age where there's so many distractions. It's so easy to be disrupted. We're so accessible on a regular basis. Um, if we take into account social media, there's billions of actions happening at any given time on social media. We have the likes of Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, Spotify, etc. There are so many things that if we're not careful, we can lose sight of what we are trying to achieve with our music career. So manage your time, look into time management, look into productive management, look into anything that will benefit you when it comes to focusing. Focus is key. Focusing and achieving are keys in succeeding when it comes to your music career. Okay, this tip is one of the most important lessons any musician, band or artist should learn. And that is how to strategize your music promotion campaign. If you're simply just putting your music out on whatever platform it might be and hoping that people are going to stream it, download it, buy it without any kind of relationship building without any kind of conversation without any kind of story without any kind of use of pr digital marketing um advertising radio plugin streaming plugin um conversational commerce um all these different important ways of being heard and connected with your audience they often get missed so it's important to understand what a music promotion campaign looks like and what works best for you Ultimately, how can you connect with true fans? Okay, tip number eight. Let's talk about social media very, very quickly. It's obviously an important um, subject. It's a very important uh, platform for promoting your music. And I owe a lot to social media. Um, it was MySpace in 2003 that really helped play a part in accelerating my band, Panic Cell, to, to get in front of a wider audience. Uh, I, I share a bit of a love-hate relationship with social media, but ultimately I know how to manage social media instead of letting it manage myself. Uh, for a long time, I let social media manage me and it delivered me with a very negative mindset at times. So think about why you're on social media. What is the purpose of being on social media? What are the end goals that you're trying to achieve when using social media? Once you get a grasp on that, you're on your way to succeeding. Now, as musicians and if you're in bands or if you're an artist, uh, one of the ultimate achievements is to grow a fan base. Why? Because we want to see people doing this in, in, in a gig. We want to see people raising their hands in the air and singing along to our songs. Those are true fans and you need to look after them now it's not always easy trying to build a fan base but if the music is intact if your message is intact and you have a way of connecting with music fans then um, you have a way to actually engage a true fan base that will spend money on you on your merchandise and help you sustain your music career but you need to look after them. You want to find the ones that actively want to be involved in your music and have something to say. And you need to be in a position to be able to communicate with them. Once you do that, you will build a fan base. Okay, so we're at number 10 already. And this is an important one for me personally. Um, it's really helped me understand who I am and what I am trying to achieve in my life and my businesses. And that is always have a purpose always have some kind of purpose or purposes that help you focus on achieving your goals and being in control of what you do. Uh, the moment you lose sight of that purpose, the moment you slip into getting stuck on social media and just looking at newsfeed and looking at other people's 
news and photos and videos and whatnot, that's when you're losing sight of purpose. So for example, I've got a whiteboard, but whiteboard behind me, that's got a lot of my purposes on there. It's also got some um, active um, engaging ways of me being able to activate that purpose. So for example, if I am stuck on social media, I'll go and get a glass of water or something. Um, but ultimately, I'm always able to find a way back to my purpose. And once I'm back in that zone, then I'm able to succeed with anything that I'm trying to achieve. So yeah, it's do not lose sight of your purpose. Ask yourself, why are you doing what you are doing? What is the reason behind it? What are you trying to achieve? How is it going to benefit you? Are you doing it for you or are you doing it for someone else? Because if you're doing it for someone else, if you're just trying to carry favour, then you're not being true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. Always have a purpose. Okay, here's a hidden album track. Back in the day on CDs or albums, vinyl, etc., we'd have these hidden tracks that would come out of nowhere. Um, okay, it's not that, obviously. This is a bonus tip, um, and it's such a crucial one, and that is to have fun. You're, you are creatives, whether you're a musician, whether you're an artist, whatever it might be, always have fun and never stop creating. That's the best part of what we do. I'm enjoying doing these short little videos. I get really a lot, I get a lot of satisfaction from doing these videos. That these sort of things are fun because I'm passing on knowledge to people. And in these times where we are behind screens a lot, we've got access to mobile phones, smartphones, and uh, applications like social media, etc. cetera, um, it's all too easy to lose sight of having fun. So put the phone down, shut the laptop, turn the computer off, pick up the bass, go out for a walk, go and see your friends and family, do something that you enjoy, whatever that might be, but have fun. Never lose sight of having fun and staying true to yourself and what makes you tick. I hope these videos have been useful for you. Um, the ebook is available in as, as this video format. I've also, um, underneath this video link, there's a button. If you press on it, you can download a, a, an actual ebook of this as well for you to take away. Um, a big part of my life now is education and coaching um, musicians. So if you'd like to book a one-to-one -one Zoom call with me, um, you can do that via this um, this page or within the ebook. There's a link as well, uh, and within that we can I, I, we can talk about mentoring, coaching. We can talk about strategies. We can look at your music career. We can look at uh, press and PR and marketing campaigns. We can look at education if you want to know a bit more about music education and how you can learn from it. There's a variety of things that we can do within one hour, and um, I help musicians every day with this stuff. And it's always a pleasure to see them thrive from learning and understanding the reality of what the music industry is. So once again, thanks for checking this, this top 10 out. Thanks for checking out my website. Um, if, if you've got any questions, uh, either message me on social media or drop me an email, rob at stampedepressuk.com. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or if you want to book a Zoom call, you can do that within the website very, very easily. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care of yourselves. Keep having fun. Stay in control.